Hello YouTube, uh, Kukurevo here, and as you can see, I will win the store challenge to get the Pika for PCS. So yeah, so yeah, welcome back to YouTube. I guess yes, I just arrived from my camping trip, and yeah, I I do win before I go to camping trip, camping trip on the tournament store challenge, and this is the decklist for that is Flagberg, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. So. This is the Flagberg and I'm using the order variant. I will explain to you why do I use it, but for now let's see in the right line. So in the right line is simple uh, Dream Play, you can use the you know the Flagberg right uh, right line if you want to do that's fine, but I use this for because you know make my opponent guessing which one that I play is it's Magnolia, it is Zorga or Flagberg. So that's just kinda of bit uh, you know a uh, tricky way to uh, you know Fool the open, but sometimes I just I uh, just like you know you can use anyway anything. So yeah, dream nibbling and the from the great one I'm using the rancor chain because you know it's draw too. So the reason why I'm using this uh red zero and great one from zero guys because it gives you an option to refresh your hand. So whenever you play and you like your hand is bad and you have order in your hand, you can refresh it. You can like change it to draw two and have a chance to get the combo that you wanted. Like example, you need like inlet, or even you need like a, a, a grass blue, or you need ascendant. So he's here for refreshing that, and because his skill is act, it's if you like if your hand is good already, you don't want to draw, and you don't have to use it. You just let it be and become soul. And if you, the you know if that's more soul, then if he's the third turn, you don't have doesn't have any aggress blue. Uh, so, sorry, doesn't have ascendance to call or doesn't have flag for your hand to call in the ascendance. You can just you know use aggress pull and inlet and make the five attack. So yeah, that's the reason why using the Zerga right line. It's just good. It's just good. You draw to it, make your more consistent and everything like that. So for the grid two, I'm using ascendance. Now using full uh, Zerga right line because the plus the plus is nice. If you use the Zerga right line, you can put back your order back. But for me, it's just uh, it wasn't necessary. For me. Uh, consistency is more important than anything else so ascendance goes into soul and you can call it if you have flagbird in your hand you can call it by showing a flagbird and if you don't have, doesn't have it you sometimes can forcefully use his skill to pop out and using the crit uh the crit effect to take with inlet and put the soul so it's still a soul for inlet skill so yeah it's really good actually ascendance in the crit is really good it's so con so consistent you're always gonna see him on the turn three, so yeah, you don't need to like gambling your way out to it. So yeah, I send us on crit two, and obviously in the crit three we use the best maelstrom. <laughs> I know maelstrom gonna get reprinted uh, on the set six, uh, so set eight, as an encounter. But for now, yeah, it's the best deck on the stack, I must say. Like Magnolia just really been crippled by the inlet. It's still better, it's still good, but I think. Flagbrook is just the best Tokyo deck now. Like Zerga is good. I fight Zerga and I lose several times with Zerga because he's literally in the new Zerga. Doesn't require require to have hands. It's just can so blessed and can think and play his way. But in the same time, like eh, like the win con, the winning condition for the game is really better with Flagbrook because you know what you want to do to win the game. So that's why Flagbrook is the best uh, Stokia deck I must say now. So yeah, Flagbrook on the Great tree. If you don't know what Flagbrook does, basically if you attack three times or more, you can draw a card. If you attack four times or more, you can re retire two card. And then if you attack five times or more, that the battle takes ten thousand, and it draw and it just do everything that's previous skill. And you can your opponent need to use three card to guard it. So yeah, pretty pretty have. It's just such a cool skill and just li literally just end the game if you can properly broke that five skill. So yeah, pretty cool card. And let's go into the main deck. Uh, sorry if you my voice is like this because I'm still I'm sick from the trip. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but yeah. We bring three copy for Flagbrook, uh, Persona right. It's like you win the game basically if you Persona right because so the deck problem is uh, back then they have two problem with the deck consistency and power so sometimes you open up with inlet sometimes you doesn't sometimes you open up with aggress blue or sometimes you doesn't that being fixed with the right line kinda but again the second uh you know the second bad thing about the deck is the power the power is so low that one trigger can stop your combo so personal right can fix that a bit it's it's been there for a while but i just want to point that out so yeah personal right is obviously then kate in the front and draw and obviously the best card from Stoikia ever that being abused by other deck 
I mean, well, this doesn't have a single crumb from it, but it's still such a good card. So, Inlight Dragon. So, well, yeah, obviously need to forego with this, sadly. The card is a bit expensive now, it's $30 or something. I think I see some list goes for $40 too. It's kind of sad. I have it be way before this uh, price hike up, so yeah, forego with Inlight. Why? It's the, the best 5 attacker of the best multi attacker on your deck. So, what it does is, well, on the first turn, uh, sorry, on the first battle, if you attack with him, you can soul blast one and stun him. That is good. And then, if you attack four times or more, he can go to soul and draw a card. Which is really good. It gives you soul, it draws your card. It's amazing. So, yeah, bring four copies of this one to the deck. And I bring two copies of Agress Blue. It's almost the same as my old previous deck list, but I'm using. But uh, I'm using this deck list still on PRO, but I didn't use Agress Blue. Now I'm regretting that because Agress Blue is literally one right now for now it will be replaced in the set seven soon we have the better grade two but now you kind of have to bring him because he open up a, a chance for you to win the game on the third uh, turn if you go first if you go first you cannot use inlet because his skill is if you open on grade three and if you go first you if you just doesn't bring aggress blue you literally need to wait that's horrible you literally stall a turn to like end your game and if you doesn't have any good power number on the board you just lose. <laughs> so, I guess we're here if it's just opening a chance for you if you go first and you can end the game because his skill doesn't restrict it, restrict it to your opponent to create 3. So, usually what I do with this deck, I rush early and your opponent is always, it's always do this. It's always tempted to rush you back because you rush him early, if it, especially if you rush him too badly. Like, oh, no trigger at all on 3 attack in on 3. They usually like want to hit one of your rear guards so I don't have any rear guard. That's a smart move, but at the same time, Aggress in your hand, and then you can just call him and just like, oh yeah, take your rear soul blast one and return. There you go, and you can just ascendance, and then you get five your atta your five attacker, and you know what? Aggress will win me some game on the turn uh, sub tournament challenge because it's just really versatile. You go first, right? It's just gonna kill them with the five attack with aggress blue. So yeah, that's why I bring two. You can bring three, but I don't recommend three is too much. You always draw it two because the because the right line give you a lot of draw. So yeah, I bring two. For now, it will change in the set 7, obviously, but for now, I bring only 2. Oh, I hit my mic again. And another 3 copy of uh, Ascendance Assault. This is another, another of your, you know, multi-attacker. But to be honest with you, if I see it in my hand, and I have a uh, flag in my hand too, I'm just gonna call it early to rush. So what it does is, basically, if your rear or the regard attack on your Vanguard, on your opponent Vanguard, you can counter plus 1 and stun him. So it's one of your standard. So yeah, what is trouble about this deck? It's still an attack. It's still 10k. This guy's 10k. So if you go, if you go second, this guy doesn't hit. You need some boost. So that's why I put some card in the deck that give him more power. So yeah, bring your copy because you want to see it again. If you either you go first or second, you always want to see him in your hand sometime because uh, if your opponent just keep attacking you too, like like keep like example you facing Yohasakura, which want to like rush you to Italy too. You're gonna have a lot of CB, so you can do the 5 attacking in the turn 3. So that's why you bring 2 copies of him. Yeah. And the next one is we have 4 copies of Price Trident. So, yeah, Price Trident. We have 4 copies of this because, you know, it's the best good one on the deck now. Because it goes to Soul, they counter charge you. It's just. It is, mm, it's just really good card. It's if you open, try to damage, cancel you, and only give you 1 CB, and yeah, you have in, this guy in your hand. And that's it, you solve with grid 3 and you just win the game, that's it. <laughs> this card is so good, it won't be removed until set 7 come up to it, just, just, that's just that good. This this grid 1 is just really good. So yeah, for a copy of it, obviously, do not, do not decrease it, I must say. If you decrease it, you won't see it anytime soon on your hand sometime and it's gonna be annoying. And if you put for 4, you can use it for rushing. Although I will show you how do I rush using this card. So I'm not putting in the front because you're probably gonna hit this. So I will show you later. So yeah. That's the thing. And this is the 3 card that I use again for another great one. So Adamantis, 3 copy of it. So back then I used Agleo, but I don't know why. It's because, I, you know, Agleo, if you can revive it, you can use it again. So you get 10k on the board too. It's kind of personal, right? But I don't like because it doesn't give you, bo you know, body on the board. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like, so, in sense, if you use Aglio, you're basically using order that 
use it and put it in the drop and you get 5k to 2 thing that's good that's mind you it's really good and it's on you need to it, should, it can put in vanguard too if you want to but why is uh mantis because i'm more focused on this deck on rushing so what i do usually if i have this two i put it in the back and i call mantis on the front so mantis skill give her 5k so what uh so what i do is just rushing with this two and you're probably gonna hit them but not her and i said not this uh Sorry, not this uh uh press trident. We will hit the the mantis first. Do not rush it like this. Get the will kill this first. So rush it like this. Unless if you open have like some somewhat like way to retire, then don't just rush with this. But you can just rush with the mantis and you can give it the power of the vanguard. So that's why it's better for me rather than aglio and it's serve your body in the board too. Which some your opponent usually like angry because you have so many body in the board and just try to hit this and then again if you have bring aggress you can just use your you know five attack to turn three <laughs> so yeah this is good because this give you body and if you call it with any mean necessary you get five get to the other thing so yeah it's i bring three copies of this for rushing and the next card is basically in the order lineup so it is kind of weird but i will show you so this is my order lineup so first of all three copy of a fifing order i would say that so this three copy so first of all don't use this to i use it because i don't have soul body condensation yet i will search them more on bcs so i can use it but i use this and it's fine i guess <laughs> most of the time if you open a no if you open to get rushed badly they will rush you back and you have see before you know reviving something so sometimes this kind of work too but sbc is better so you know because it gives 5k too so yeah if it's SBC is better but for now using this and again i've been using this deck list on the store tournament i think the i will tell you uh, what is the local i think they're gonna post it on facebook or something so yeah this is in the deck list too so bring it to the five thing order i must say i will change it to uh soul body condensation later on like most of most mostly probably just gonna change this too or maybe just do like this and one why because i don't know why this card the cb thing is sometimes it's useful because if you like against like uh i don't know card that suck your soul or anything like that sometimes it's useful but again it's rarely happen but yeah i will change it to soul body condition too after this so yeah bring check copy revival order that's the thing yeah and this too is something that i want to change a lot later on so i'm still bringing uh instance of an idea for far away because it's basically give you 5k for attacking again the tech problem is the deck is really have low number a uh, single trigger can stop your combo so that's a trouble so the poking won't work <laughs> But the second card for boosting I'm bringing, uh, Nectar of Nationalism. To be honest with you, maybe in the future I will change this to 4 Nectar. Why? Because I don't use the the great one goes boy, they can recycle things. So I didn't bring only one because it's kind of weird if you bring only one. You can recycle it, but this, it's just weird. So I bring it 4 because you want to see it early. So literally on my entire game on the store challenge, I used this for win the game so it's like you're another win con because you keep guarding you keep uh, drawing you keep soul blasting your drop gonna be filled with a lot of stuff so like if it's on 15 you use this and you win the game like most of the time that's what happened i fight kairi i fight i don't know like top meta tier deck like with him and i can win the game instantly because why because if you have 15 uh, a card on your drop zone it become you you can give fifteen thousand attack to on a unit and it give a crit that's just amazing and if he doesn't hit the 15k number the 15 number you can just give it like oh i only have five drop you get 5k that's it the, your ascendants now hit your vanguard now as good as the far away because it basically can make your you know ascendants get 20k if you play properly so yeah but at the same time like uh, it just the other thing to the attack first and literally was a single trigger can stop it so this two is still debatable for me but i'm mostly gonna make this only one copy later on and i make three copy of this uh in the search of uh sorry in the sensationalism because it is better card for me like legit if you sell on the first turn and you still doesn't need it to discard it man and he will draw it again soon so yeah i'm bringing like four copy of uh three copy of this later on probably and only one of this or i don't know four of the thing so yeah depends on my mood <laughs> i guess but this is the deck list that i use on the store challenge so yeah four copy of the thing uh for pg wise uh using still the good pg although uh to be honest with you the good pg effect rarely happen because you always have massive fan using this deck 
So yeah, good BG. You can use the normal BG, I guess, because I think the incentive for me to like discarding a card is like is I, I was discarding card using the BG anyway. So it doesn't matter, I think. But again, if you want the better BG, I think bring the better BG because maybe sometime if you doesn't have a hand at all, it can save you too. So yeah, for a copy of the good BG. So we come to the trigger ratio. So this is a uh, four copy of critical trigger. You need this sadly. You need the ghost of the soul because your deck need the soul. So yeah, again you can use the combo if you doesn't have, uh, uh, you doesn't have flagpole in your hand and you need the ascendance and you have inlet. So what you do, you can forcefully call the ascendance and call this behind the inlet and then or when the inlet attack and then the battle put the soul and the inlet skill kind of proc and the soul blast and understand him. So yeah, that's the thing. It gives two K too, which is kind of cool. <laughs> So yeah, it's gonna sadly you need this. Uh, uh, you need the the four copy of the good one. So yeah, that's sadly that you need to bring that. So another crit we bring the three abyss of temptation. Uh, you can use whatever you want. You can use the from the starter deck. That's fine. I just use it because it's underwater. And when it's set six, come on, we change it to the the guy will literally look like a tear dragon. So yeah, <laughs> again seven crit. That's what I bring on the stake. Can bring a crit, that's fine. But I love, I love the troll more. So yeah, bring for a copy of the troll because obviously you still need the piece sometime too. And having pick hand is better than having none. So yeah, bring in the good draw because you need hands, <laughs> especially if you draw the speedy. It's nice. So yeah, for draw. And for the heal, this is kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> so I use the normal heal. This is the SP from set four. I think three of this and one of the. Skill hill, which is the crit one. So uh, I actually want to bring two. So two of the crit one, then two of this one. But uh, this guy's art is just look beautiful, and this guy is basically SP. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of sucker. But if you want to go competitive, like, competitively wise, sorry, bring toward this because uh, you don't want to get crit early. That's why if you throw this, it's I don't know what is twenty k shield. Just stop your open like. There's a lot of PBO around and just 20k shield them. <laughs> so even fast and they usually doesn't get them too fast. So yeah. This is a uh, really like good now. And because uh, I think there's not much restander now, so that's why we didn't really need to use restander heal. But just in case if you if you uh, you know local have a lot of restander deck, you can bring the restander one. But I using the crit because I don't want to deck that crit a lot. <laughs> So yeah, big for of heal, obviously, and for the officer we still use the plus five four, the map, <laughs> the mat. So yeah, bring in this one because again, if you check office and uh, offensively, you throw two, <laughs> you heal two if you have more damage, and they got crit. So it's basically your nine crit if you bring eight crit, if you bring seven crit, it's your eight crit. So yeah. That's how it is, and you get 10,000 k at the front, but it is unnecessary because if the promo comes to the promo is back, it doesn't get the 10k. Sadly, that's what happened. So yeah, this is, but I'm still using this. Yeah, and yeah, that's on the deck list I use. Again, the order is going to change, and obviously will change because the <laughs> Yasuma is not really that uh, versatile, but yeah, I will change it. So yeah, I win the uh, shop uh, challenge with this deck flagberg is still a really nice deck again the, f the flowers on this deck is because it's heavily really less power and literally a single draft check with like i don't know a trigger can just stop him <laughs> from doing the combo so that's what the bad bit the bad thing about the flagberg but even like that the flagberg have clear win con which is him and if you use my order then you have two win con basically because you have nectar and him there's th two win con which is really good if the deck you have two win con like multiple win con that that meant the deck is really good. So yeah, that it's that's it. And I will I'll be showing you this on PCS later on. I will change one or two bit in this. I still need to practice a lot. And yeah, that's it for this decklist profile. And thank you very much uh, for the people that subs subbing to my channel. I really appreciate it. You are you are the best. <laughs> you are the poker champs. So yeah, I'm sorry I'm a bit sick because I just go back from my camera and I'm really tired. <laughs> But I need to make the video, this video because maybe it can help you guys if you want to play this deck on your store challenge or anything else. So yeah. I will make other video like uh, how to play Fangar, how to like improve as a Fangar player. I'm not that good myself. I'm still bad. I'm still new to the game anyway. But yeah, it is what it is. And wait for me to open set 6 box. I do not. I cancel my case. I'm only going to buy tier 4. So yeah. So if you guys want to see the ratio. But that is for this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye.